Hello Libras, this is your reading for the 5th through the 7th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys as always for coming. I hope everybody is doing well today. Let's see, what love messages do we have for Libra? Please show me messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. The Eight of Wands. A lot of change and forward movement you guys have going on right now. I'm definitely getting that you are wanting to initiate something. You want to end something to initiate something else. Let's see what else we have for you guys here. There's that initiation right there. That full energy. Wanting to do something new. Wanting to see some change in your situation. Hmm. I feel you guys want to like completely do some, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> want to completely do something that um, is out of character for you. Okay. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. And you feel like that's going to bring you success. You're fighting for this change too. You're fighting for whatever it is that 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 you want. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is all about change as well. It's about um, karma. I feel there's a lot of conflict around whatever it is that you are wanting to do currently. Let's see. Please show me more about the Eight of Wands energy here. Eight of Wands, the Moon. You're not sure. You're not sure how to end something here. Okay. And I feel like this is something that is very close to your heart. There's something I feel like you guys have been hiding or keeping to yourselves rather for a while. But you're definitely wanting to end something so you can start over. And then we have judgment in reverse there. Having not made up your mind fully. With that full energy. Because whatever it is that you are wanting to do, you're really not wanting to make a mistake. You're not wanting to look foolish. Hmm. Some of you guys are actually wanting to move. You're wanting to um, move, maybe move in with someone. Wanting to travel. Travel to someone, with someone. But you're really not sure if you should do it. Hmm. Some of you are wanting to take a leap of faith with someone else. Some of you are wanting to actually Some of you guys are actually wanting to to be with someone here. Sagittarian Piscean energy is here. Aries is here, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Whatever this is, you guys, you know, you don't want to bring in bad karma. It's what I'm getting here. You don't want to make a mistake. I'm just getting that strongly. You want, you really want to do the right thing. You want to be successful in this um, situation. And you're determined to be, okay? And I think that's why you really haven't, you know, made a firm decision on what you're going to do. Please show me more about the Wheel of Fortune here. Hmm. The Seven of Cups is in reverse there. Scorpio energy. 
the Scorpio energy is upside down. Okay. So that Seven of Cups being confused, having options. I'm feeling like there's one person that you guys are concentrating on. And excluding other people, other options. And right now, you're not sure whether you really, you know, should concentrate on this one person or keep your options open. And I feel like you guys are really fighting for clarity. Please show me more about the Five of Swords energy here. The High Priestess energy. Again, you have the Moon, you have the High Priestess. There's something that you guys are not speaking about, you're not sharing. There's, there's something that you are definitely keeping to yourself. I think you have an inner knowing. You have a feeling that this could be successful. But again, I think that maybe the ego gets in the way a little bit and you talk yourself out of something. Almost like you're hindering yourself here. Okay. Let's see what energy is coming in for you guys. What energy is coming towards Libra? What energy is coming towards Libra? Temperance. Harmony and balance. Doing things in just the right way. To get what it is that you want here. And that is a very stable beginning that could lead to something really significant here. Please show me more about temperance. Please show me more about temperance. The devil, you're fighting with yourself here. I feel like you guys are definitely fighting with yourself. Hmm. I feel like you guys don't share a lot. You don't share a lot with people and I think that right there has you struggling within yourselves. Um, you're, you're not opening up. I think that you're wanting to win so till you're throwing, you're throwing your happiness off. You're throwing your balance off here. It's like you want to be sure that if you make this decision to start over with an individual and cut out the other options, you know, somebody completely taking advantage of you and throwing off what you have going on right now. But there is an opportunity here really to, to have something significant. Okay. Fighting those fears, fighting that need to, um, the security of holding back and keeping to yourself. Please show me more about the Ace of Pentacles. The lovers. The lovers. There's definitely a choice here. free will here to have something very significant to be very happy I do feel that there is like you know there's some codependency some addictions in this situation 
but I definitely feel like you know they could be tamed here falling under temperance there's too much of something going on here there's too much of something going on here secrecy keeping to yourself not using the intuition um, maybe overactive emotions maybe you know either overreacting or being overly emotional or overdoing things in general okay so we have Capricorn Gemini Sagittarius Aquarius Pisces Cancer I feel is here Scorpio is here Aries okay guys so that is what I have for you and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon